Hello, welcome to the Managing Drought in the Southern Plains webinar series offered by the Southern Climate Impacts Planning Program in association with NOAA, the National Integrated Drought Information System, and National Drought Mitigation Center. We will be doing a full webinar with a focus on drought and health on Thursday, September 13th at 3 p.m. invite you to join us. Take a look at the SKIP website for more information. Looking at the drought monitor this week, we can see some improvements across especially Missouri and Illinois as the track of Hurricane Isaac. Uh, the remnants of that brought some needed rainfall to that region and a few other changes within the region. It, this really shows up the difference of the week makes when you, we look at uh, the eastern part of the severe drought area and a lot less red in areas of uh, Illinois and Missouri, especially even Arkansas. has had some improvements, although they were an exceptional drought and uh, have a little further to come out of it. But that's balanced by some expansion of drought conditions in Nebraska, which has a large area of uh, new D4 compensating for it. So the overall amount of drought hasn't really changed in the U.S. in the last week. This is a rainfall pattern from Hurricane Isaac. You can see the heavy rainfall along the Gulf Coast and then the track up along the Mississippi River and plenty of rainfall across Missouri and Illinois that have really helped with the drought there. Also, going back a couple of weeks, there were some uh, cold front rains across Kansas and Oklahoma that brought a little bit of relief to the region. But when we look at those long departures, even with that heavy rain in the Mississippi Valley, there are still some long departures of over 12 inches of rain below normal in, in along the Mississippi River. As far as temperatures, they've given us a little bit of a break in the eastern part of the region, although the heat has returned in the plains with 100 degree temperatures common in Oklahoma and 90s across much of the plains that have been adding to some of that expansion of drought up into Nebraska. Minimum temperatures have been pretty warm as well in the east with associated with the rain and cloud cover. As we look into the next week, once this, uh, the next few days, we can see some rain along the cold front, strong cold front coming through the region that's expected uh, to add to further improvement in the eastern part of the region and cool temperatures returning to, to uh, much of the eastern part of the U.S. As we look beyond this week, we don't see much hope for additional rains once this front uh, passes, and but we do see cool temperatures behind it remaining into next week. So that should help with some of the drought conditions as, uh, as the temperature effects will be a little bit lessened. Although the warm weather in the west uh, will perhaps lead to some expansion in, in those regions. The Climate Prediction Center three month outlooks are the same as last week. They, uh, the new ones should be issued shortly. But they show a warm pattern remaining in place through most of the fall and uh, not much of a clear signal yet on precipitation. We're hoping that El Nino will bring a stronger wet signal in the south in the coming weeks. When we look at the drought outlook, we see that uh, much improvement expected across Arkansas, Illinois, Missouri, and, and eastern part of the region. Also, a pretty good uh, improvement across Texas uh, is expected as well. But much of the drought across Oklahoma, Kansas, Nebraska, and uh, further west is expected to pretty much remain in place until we get the El Nino rains in the fall, in the winter. So uh, we have these information posted on the several sites, including our SKIP YouTube page, which has uh, these, these webinars and our other webinars, as well as the U.S. Drought Portal. And we encourage you to be in touch with us. If you have any questions, please contact us at drought at southernclimate.org. We hope you have a good weekend, and we look forward to joining you next week.